Do you have a need for some rechargeable AA or AAA batteries? Take a look at these. Now, if you're like me, I have a drawer full of alkali batteries and I'm always having to buy more. And there's a few things that burn through these batteries. So I've been using uh, lithium ion batteries and flashlights like my 18650s for years and years but uh, those are 3.7 volt batteries so i needed some double a 1.5 volt type things so these are uh, nickel metal hydride batteries and they're one and a half volts so they're a direct replacement for your double a and triple a this is uh this has a little card for if you need service from this company and this is a little starter pack i wanted to try them before i bought a bunch of them and see if i liked them let me get this out of the box and i'll show you what's in here all right you've got your instruction manual you have the actual charger and then this particular pack came with four double a's and four triple a's you get a charge cable it's a micro usb to usb a it does not come with the wall adapter but this will work on any charger that you have and the, of course, if you've got a quick charge, it'll probably charge a little faster, but it'll work on anything. You can plug it into your laptop to charge all these batteries. Some of the advantages of these, obviously, you're not throwing the alkali batteries away. You're not supposed to throw those away, but I'm not looking. This charger charges the AA and the AAA batteries. These are a little more environmentally friendly. And if you've got something that you use a lot of batteries in, I've got a couple of small flashlights that I occasionally use. One thing about these as com compared to a lithium ion battery, a lithium ion battery I think has a slower self discharge rate, but these aren't bad. And of course they're not up with what an alkali battery is. I've got a drawer full of alkali batteries so that I can fall back on but I'm going to use these in my high turnover battery items. One of the advantages of these are energy density is a little bit on the high side. That's a good thing. Another advantage on these, these are rechargeable for 500 to 1000 cycles and that's going to depend on your depth of discharge, your discharge rates and stuff like that. But you can depend on at least 500 cycles. To recharge these things that's a lot of double a and triple a batteries over the life of these things that you won't have to purchase one advantage these have over a lithium ion they work a little bit better in cold temperatures lithium ion if you've used those like your gopro batteries and things like that they have a tendency in cold weather not to perform well the nickel metal hydride technology is a little different they do perform a little bit better at cold temperatures and these are cost effective. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check out what these are going to cost. Um, I don't know if the how bad the price fluctuates, if it's even the same as it was the day I bought them, but I'll put a link to them down in the description. Let me uh, charge these up and we'll take a quick look. All right, something I want to point out on the Power Owl charger, when you plug this in, it will go through a power on self test you get a series of LED chases red and then green so there's eight slots on here and it doesn't matter which one you put the battery in uh, they both all eight slots will accept either a double A or a triple A nickel metal hydride battery this is what it's going to look like with all the batteries in there all of these are red right now as they charge they will turn green so it shuts off automatically once they're all charged. All right, all my batteries are charged and my USB outlet actually has an amp meter on it. So what I saw while it was charging the entire array was 1.26 amps. So I think this has some sort of internal regulation because I plugged it into a three amp outlet and it, it seemed to internally regulate and uh, ended up at an amp and a quarter. So this is one of my intended uses. Uh, this has a little three AAA carrier. You put the batteries in. I use these for emergencies. Uh, they're not a bright light. It's just got a series of LEDs in the 
front of it, but it's enough light to see in the dark, and that's just for emergency purposes. So there's not really a whole lot to talk about on this, but I'll tell you, if I have any issues with this, uh, I'll always come back and put a pinned comment that it, I had a failure point or something. So, you know, if you're seeing this sometime in the future, check the comments and make sure that this is still working. If this works as well as I think it will, I'm probably going to either buy a larger charger or a couple more sets of the batteries. You can buy the batteries individually and you can buy them in just the AA or just the AAA is what I saw on Amazon at the time I ordered this. So things can change in the future. I always check in my description. Things that I've used and I liked are in my description. If it's not in my description, I either didn't like it or I haven't tried it yet. Anyway, if anybody stuck through this, I appreciate it. I'm going to throw a couple other videos up over here and I'll catch you in one of those or I'll catch you down the road.